Hi folks, my name is Justin, and... Are you thinking of talking now after you just insulted me? Beautiful. And this is Vash, let's get this started. <sighs> So today we're going to talk about The Huntsman, or Huntsman, The Winter's War, or The Huntsman, Winter's War. I don't know what the title actually is. I, I didn't, like, if you look at the screen, it, it looks like there's a bunch of word options there That's for very it. very interesting And you I don't know that. which one it is. I remember the word Huntsman somewhere, but then I was like, wait, is that it? So then I figured, well, when the movie comes on, I'll find out. Then the movie came on, but I was late, so I missed it, so I still don't know. The whole movie, I'm that like... What is this called? One of our first reviews, actually, on this show, mm. when, like, the first ten is Snow White and the Huntsman. And I hated it. Way back in the day. Hated it. And I had second. fun at that movie. I didn't, I don't think I've ever watched it ever since, let's mm -mm. be honest. Mm -mm. Um, I think this movie did a really good job of telling as much story of Snow White having no Kristen Stewart in it. You liked it, didn't you? So I guess I'll ask the obvious question. Did you enjoy the movie? Not one second. Okay, maybe three or four seconds, but okay. that was it. Like, and not, not in a row. Who um, was the girl? Which what? girl? There are three girls in this that are big names. Charlize Theron. I know her. Who plays, Who you was know, in it for like the queen. two and a half seconds. That Maybe. Emily Blunt. Emily who Blunt plays from Ice Devil Wears Prada. Jessica Chastain. That's who I didn't Who plays know. the other huntsman. I and thought it like was the Quinn love Bray. Okay. And until I realized I hadn't seen Charlize Theron, so I was like, oh, maybe it's Emily Blunt. And then I was like, well, that means the Ice Queen is Charlize, Charlize, Charlize? I think it's Charlize. Charlize Theron. But I'm like, why would she play herself and her sister? They could, like, then I was like, well, I guess it makes the sense. The CG is amazing. <laughs> she looks totally different. How long is this movie? Two hours? At I think one it's like hour an hour and 45. 52 minutes into the movie, Charlize Theron shows up. And when she showed up, I was like, that Charlize, Ther Charlize. Why would they name her that? That's the dumbest name in the world. They're Charlize all... Theron is probably like, you want me to play her sister? Oh my God, I feel so young. Because she could definitely be like her grandmother. Charlize Theron is like 90. I don't think she's that I old. I watched Charlize Theron back and in I the 80s. I don't think Emily Blunt's she, quite that young. 2006. Really? But she's brand new to the scene. Was it uh, Devil well, Wears Prada, her first movie? Also, that movie was like almost 10 years ago. Ex uh, oh. Yeah, maybe she's not such a spring chicken. <laughs> she's still young. Well, we, you know, we'll, we'll look and see. But I just kind of feel like Char Charlize, that name is still really whipping my ass. But Luber was great. Emily Blunt was in that. And she didn't have an English accent. I didn't she know didn't. who she was until the credits. <laughs> I was like, Emily Blunt? Yeah, what she... are you doing with America? See, I don't like when actors change things because then Char I can't recognize them. You know, Charlize them. Theron is not American. Don't no, say she's not American. What is she, Canadian? No, she's South what African. She? Does she have an accent? Uh, I've never heard it. I've never heard it. Yes, speak. I would imagine she did at some point. What's his name? Mr. Uh, Chris Hemsworth, who I would I have love much what's his name, but you're ready for this. How he should, if he had just been Thor, I would have been totally <laughs> fine. It was an epic movie that didn't, that seemed more epic than it needed to be, or seemed less epic than I wanted it to be. You know Does what it is? Sense? Absolutely. Here's Sometimes it was like one look, one look, then a narrator told what just yeah, happened. Yeah, there was a lot of I kind of wanted the narration to tell, like, to and watch it wasn't that. Even Morgan Freeman. Everybody knows if you want something narrated, you got it. Did I say narrated? If you want something narrated, you need to get Morgan Freeman. The, the narration yeah. was Liam Neeson. Yeah, but he wasn't looking for anybody. He needs to be hunting people down. <laughs> Listen, here's my, here's my big problem with you. you ready he for only this? does well when he's hunting people. Yeah, I've never seen him do anything else well. <laughs> of the two movies, Snow White and the Huntsman and The Huntsman, I would let The Huntsman play. I wouldn't let either one of them play. Why do you have to have a choice? Well, Are you in jail or something? So, should we review the movie? thought we already did that. Okay. Uh, I think this visual is really cool, and it was a cool story, and between the two, I clearly would prefer The Huntsman, but I'm just going to give this a three. What movie did you watch? Were we in the same theater? Because the movie that I don't I know. Saw, you were so late, you couldn't sit with us. Honestly, wanted the rafters to fall and crush me to death, because I couldn't take watching this movie anymore. So, a rating? Two. Okay. I gave it a two because they worked really hard on it, and it wasn't badly done it was just bad thank you everybody for watching the show feel free to subscribe to the page what does it look like this time Don't... whatever you'd like okay i thought what you were gonna move on? your hand over here no, and i tilted to... with my head this time what was yeah. on dvd and uh sorry dvd and what was on last we will see you guys next week have fun wait i'm going back next week